And yes, yo friends, and welcome back to the Tozy channel for Shiny World Wednesday and the return to our journey through all of Shiny's albums. Today we are up to Quasimodo, which is such a wonderful song and only has two performances that I could find online. It's one of those songs, an elusive unicorn that you can only just get a hold of and probably not in great quality. So today we are watching Quasimodo from the 2010 Japan tour and over on Patreon we are watching a performance from a show called Muse it? M-U-Z-I-T? Muse it? Such a shame that I can only find two versions of it. Oof, dramatic. Okay, they're all wonderful in that. I will prefix this comment by saying they're all wonderful in that. They all sound great. Oh, 
but Jinky and Jonghyun, oh my goodness. And for 90% of the song, it's just Jinky's exquisite light touch, just the way he just disappears up into his high register and it just floats right through you. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. And then John Hyun's power when he does his big notes, it's so impressive and expressive of what that song is. The, the gentleness of that song is so illustrative of the lyrics for so much of it. And then when it really hits its crescendo, you're like, yeah, that's true too. That a lot of longing and loving somebody, even if it's hopeless love, is a quiet suffering and a silent emotion until it bursts out of you, which is what happens when he suddenly hits that big part. But they all sound so beautiful and they're still so little. That's really impressive empathy and understanding for such young people to sing a song like that. It's the kind of song that should belong to somebody older who has more life experience under their belt and has probably suffered a pain like that. And maybe a couple of them had, but also at that age, you know, pr probably not. And that's not a slight on anyone that's young. That's just how life goes. And yet these young guys emote perfectly. There's nothing about their performance of that that feels insincere or like they're reaching to try and understand what this feels like. It's like every one of them has already gone around on the wheel of life a couple of times and they're actually old souls who are singing of something that happened in a past life. They, they remember entirely what it feels like to have the pain of love stuck in their heart and immovable, even if the person doesn't return the love or is slow to return the love or isn't feeling quite on the level that they're feeling. Oh, it's a great song to listen to by itself, but gee, it's powerful performed. Really powerful. Very dramatic backdrop on those screens. <laughs> Very dramatic. Has it really not been performed anywhere else? Has it seriously not been performed since 2010? That feels wrong. That can't be right, and yet I haven't found it in any other concerts. Please, honestly, please, if you know, if you know of it being performed elsewhere, we've, we've got to see it. It's so amazing performed live. That's crazy pants that I only found two freaking performances. That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right. Great. I'm so moved by it, I'm angry. <laughs> This has been my emotion lately that whenever something is just so beautiful that it, it, it like it's it's so beautiful it makes me angry. It's like when you eat really good food and it's so yummy that you're like, mmm, it's delicious. Like it's like that. I'm like, this is so good, I'm mad about it. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for another Shiny World Wednesday. Sunny and Sarangeo, and I will see you soon for more. And young. <laughs>